Hey, good morning, James. I am in North Reddington Beach. We're shining a light on three communities and one today, North Reddington Beach, Reddington Beach, and Reddington Shores. And there is a place in this area that's rescuing and rehabilitating sick and injured birds. The Seaside Seabird Sanctuary rescues hundreds of pelicans, herons, eagles, and more. And this morning, ABC Action News reporter Chad Mills found out a couple of things are making the sanctuary's mission these days a little bit tougher. This is Mickey Zucker's second home. Here at the Seaside Seabird Sanctuary, even though she's a volunteer, not on the payroll. Her work is practically full-time, non-stop. Well, there's already three rescues that I'm feeling guilty about not running to at the moment. And I've already had one this morning, so it looks like it's going to be a busy day today. Zucker has rescued so many Tampa Bay's birds, pelicans, owls, herons, you name it. Absolutely. At this point, I'm up to hundreds. And she's just one of the rescuers doing important work at this sanctuary just up the road from Reddington Beach. The birds she and others bring here are nursed back to health and ultimately released. Watching them go back out into the wild is just an incredible thing to see. But getting them to that point takes time and money. Christina Chilbert knows that well. She knows the strain red tide is placing on this sanctuary by sending more sick birds through the door. One month, I think we saw about 60 birds in within two weeks time. And she knows how painful inflation is right now. Everybody knows that now, even trying to buy meat um, and fish, it's just gone astronomical. But Chilbert stays hopeful. Hopeful more people will reach out with donations. Hopeful for more selfless volunteers like Zucker who won't be slowing down anytime soon. The idea that I've just saved a life or helped save a life is uh, unbelievable.